So to the point where she has never done this, you know, had ne- never, she was only 18, but since this has never done this, she went to a payphone at the restaurant, called her brother and was like, can you please come pick me up like immediately and stayed in the bathroom until her brother was outside and went in the car and left. And she was like, I'm just creeped out by this guy. I can't explain it. I'm creeped out. All this energy, I'm creeped out, creeped out. Now, he had, this man had picked her up from her house. So the brother had a paper route. He's leaving the next morning at 5 a.m., sees some ruffling in the bushes, okay? Crazy, right? Like whatever, sees a guy running out of the bushes, says, holy shit, whatever, runs back in the house, tells his mom and dad, sister wakes up. Says he was wearing like a beige jacket. She's like, that's the guy I was on a date with. Like that, he was like waiting. He must have been like waiting for me, right? Whatever. Goes on, life goes on. What a psycho, lunatic boyfriend. Three years later, Ted Bundy on the news. Face, she was on a date with Ted Bundy before he had committed any murders. Or or, or he had committed murders but had not been famous for it yet, had not been convicted of it yet. She said when he saw him, he, she literally almost fell out of her chair because she was like, that look. She said that Ted Bundy about, you know, how, how, you know, everyone says he's so handsome, whatever. She said he would get a look over him when he was preying on a victim, which she was felt she was being preyed on, that she doesn't even look. He's like, he does not look like that. His face configures and contorts to something that looks so sinister that she literally was like, get me away from him now. So I was like, whoa, fucking Teddy B. Imagine you on a Holy date with, Ted, with a young Teddy B. That'd be fucking nuts, dude. 